You're watching the News Channel 15 Highlight Zone with Joe Whalen. Sports coverage you can count on with the Highlight Zone starts now. Kevin Donnelly isn't prone to hyperbole, so when he says he and his team had a, quote, come to Jesus meeting after St. Francis fell to St. Ambrose two weeks ago, you know there were some less than friendly discussions taking place. Of course, winning tends to be a cure-all. Cougars hosting Concordia on a historic night. First ever night game at Bishop Darcy Stadium under the lights, and the Cougars were ready. First quarter, Corey stamps the interception, and he can walk this one into the end zone. It's a quick 7-0 lead. Well, how about the first offensive series for UCF? Josh Miller looking sharp after two straight games where he struggled. Hits Austin Coleman. This goes inside the 10. And then later in the drive, Miller finishes it off himself. Muscles it over the goal line for a 14-zip lead. Later, more coming from Coleman as they try and get head coach Kevin Tonley win number 257. This time, the preseason All-American sneaks behind the secondary, and he goes in untouched. 21-0 after one quarter of play. How about go to the second out? Back to the ground game. It's Antoine Campbell. How good has he been this season? Dives across the goal line right here. That's athleticism. That's another score. USF led it 35-7 to at recess, and they weren't close to being done in the third. David Yoder under center now, but it's back to Campbell looking for his second score of the night, and he's going to get it 49-14 to USF at that point. And then later, more run attack. This time, it's Kyle Mathewson getting in on the fun. He finds the end zone 56 to 14 at that point. St. Francis wins it in a route 76 to 14 as Kevin Donnelly becomes the winningest coach in NAIA history with win number 257. Uh, it's a wonderful feeling. Uh, I think this will do tremendous amounts of effort that our team gave tonight. I think it'll carry us over and build momentum throughout the season, and I couldn't be happier for Coach D and what he's done for this institution. And uh, anything that he gets, he deserves it. He's a wonderful man. I couldn't be happier for him. All feel great. It's a great compliment. You know, we got to see the smile. We, we did it for Coach Donnelly. It's just a great feeling. We wanted to come out and set a tone, you know, because we had a week off last week. We want to make sure this week was wouldn't affect next week because we got a big game next week. You want to come out on fire, and we, we established that. Well, it doesn't feel much different than it did before. I, I mean, it's uh, obviously that's a, a neat thing. I'm, I'm proud of that, and I'm, I've been very blessed in my lifetime to come across to a lot of great people that I've been uh, been able to, to coach and coach with. And, you know, that it's about people. It's about relationships. And, most important thing today is, is that our team came out and played hard for 60 minutes. During the postgame celebration, Fort Wayne Mayor Tom Henry officially announced today as Kevin Donnelly Day. And elsewhere, Dickinson State and their head coach Hank Bijou lost at South Oregon today, meaning Donnelly stands alone atop the career list in NAIA football history. Congratulations to Coach.